from Malawi, not Zambia. We came to Nkata Bay that's on the shores of Lake Malawi for a few days of rest and relaxation. But we wanted to greet you all and wish you a wonderful holiday season that's coming up and tell you a little bit about what's been happening with our work. For me, I've been really busy. We've had um, just a couple of weeks ago the kickoff for our Days for Girls program, the enterprise, enterprise that we started with the four women from the three congregations here in Lindazi. We're making washable reusable feminine hygiene kits. We're teaching reproductive and female health to uh, girls and women. Our main goal is to keep girls in school. Um, that's a big way to reduce poverty. So that's one of our major goals is to keep girls in school. And we had 60 girls come from a local CCAP school in, in Impamba who received their kits and their education. So that was a really wonderful day and we're really excited about how well that program's going. And the other thing that's been happening with the health department is we're building or completing the construction of a mother care shelter in Agachikini where the church has one of its two rural health centers. So we'll be finished hopefully in a couple of weeks. They're up to the roof in the construction work now. They're starting to put the iron sheets on this week. So maybe you'll see some pictures of that construction being completed. And we're getting geared up to start working on a new, brand new hospital in rural Palaza, which is a community that has no clinic anywhere close to it. So this is going to be a great benefit to the community and the people that live there. So that's what I've been doing, been staying really busy. Um, and I'll let Charles tell you what he's been up to. At Josefa, we've got several uh, irons in the fire. We uh, are starting construction on a new agricultural storage uh, facility that uh, will allow us to store our tools and implements, our farm inputs, and, and eventually our harvested crops. Uh, we're currently uh, molding 10,500 eight inch concrete blocks that'll be used in the construction. We have selected a contractor and we're putting the finishing touches on a contract, uh, which we hope we can execute here in the next couple of weeks uh, so that we can begin uh, construction soon. Um, rainy season is right around the corner, so we are also starting to, uh, excuse the fly there, uh, rainy season's right around the corner, so we're preparing uh, to plant our crops. Uh, this year we'll be planting uh, soybeans and groundnuts uh, at Chisefu Agricultural Income Generating Activity. And of course at Chisefu Model Farm, we will uh, be planting maize. Uh, again, our primary mission there is uh, growing food to feed the seminary students. Um, we uh, are excited about all of the developments there. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do in the next few weeks because in mid-December we'll be coming home for a couple of weeks for our son's college graduation and to be with our family at Christmas, which we're really excited about. Um, we want to thank you for all of the, the love and the prayers and the financial support you guys have given us. Uh, you're a very big part of, of uh, our, our team and uh, we would, wouldn't be able to do the things that we're doing without support from, from churches like Wallingford Presbyterian. So in closing, uh, thank you very much. Uh, happy holidays, good Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, and again, thank you for everything you do. Tonga Chamani. Yeah, well.